Hello viewers. In this class, we will look upon a new mechanism called quick return mechanism. The quick return mechanism is a mechanism which will be having a slower forward movement and faster return movement. Since it is returning with a faster rate when compared to forward movement, it is named as quick return mechanism. We will go with some basic concepts of quick return mechanism in this class. First, any mechanism having a forward motion which is slower than the return motion, then it is called the quick return mechanism as I said earlier. Now we can see the animation of this mechanism. So here, this rotating part is called crank which is fitted with a, an, a slotted bar. Whenever th there is a projection in this crank, whenever the crank starts rotating, the slotted bar starts oscillates like this on the path of the crank. When we have attached one more link which is called connecting rod to a slider. So this will get slides. Now you can closely watch this video whenever this movement is having a certain time for moving from here to here. This will be having faster when it moves from here to here. That means this is called forward stroke. The time taken by forward stroke is slower than the return stroke. So you can see, you can observe that this is moving slower and this the return is moving faster. So this is called quick return mechanism. Now this is called crank and slotted lever quick return mechanism. So we can see the schematic, you, you might have seen this in textbooks. So here, uh, how we can form this one. So we must have one fixed center, here the AC is the fixed center and a crank, a second link is crank. First link is the fixed center, AC from this point to this point and second one is crank, crank is nothing but CB and third link is the slotted bar, slotted bar is AP and whenever this starts rotating, so this will be connected to uh, another connecting rod and that will be fixed to the ram. So this is usually used for uh, mechanism used in shaping machines. So for the using cutting tool, uh, cutting tool will have a fast forward movement, so slow forward movement and fast return movement to avoid the time to machine. So this is uh, crank and slotted lever mechanism. So here the one ratio is that, so to determine the uh, time, time of cutting stroke to the time of return stroke is beta by alpha. If we are running this with a constant velocity, beta is the angle turned during forward movement and alpha is the angle turned during return movement. So overall 360 degree of rotation the higher angle going is in forward stroke and the lower angle going is in return stroke. So automatically the return stroke will be having a faster movement. So therefore it is called a quick return mechanism. We have one more mechanism like this. So this is one more mechanism. Here we will be having a crank attached with a slotted bar like this. So another with the another connecting rod. So this one is called the Whitworth quick return mechanism. Here both crank and slotted bars will be rotating. So this is called Whitworth quick return mechanism. So this is this this geared st structure is crank and which is connected with the slotted bar here. So this is the slotted bar. So this is called Whitworth quick return mechanism. So the configuration of this animation and this drawing is slightly different, but concept remains same. So here uh, this is the fixed center, fixed center C D, which will be connected to a crank. Here crank is P D, so which is connected to another connecting rod P R. So whenever the crank starts rotating, you can see here, this will be once upon a time, this, this will be in a straight line. So that will be in the extreme position of this one. And another time of rotation, again this slotted bar will come to a straight line. This will be in the another extreme position. So here, from for you can see here, the angle traveled by the forward stroke is alpha and the angle traveled by the return stroke is beta. So if you are running the crank with a constant velocity, angle traveled by the forward stroke is alpha is higher and angle traveled by the return stroke beta is lower. So obviously this will make a quick return mechanism. So time of cutting stroke to return stroke is alpha by beta. From this ratio, from the angle, we can determine the time ratio for this quick return mechanism. So now how we will analyze this velocity and acceleration in quick return mechanism is quite challenging. Why? Because we have uh, one point which is this point. This point will be acts as a sliding pair as well as turning pair. So if we consider the grey element that is a crank, if we consider that is a rotating element in the crank but at the same time it is a sliding element in the slotted bar. So the same point will be having a rotating movement as well as sliding movement. So here also 
the same point will be having a rotating moment as well as sliding moment in this one so in both the cases we will be having a rotating moment and sliding moment so in such case that point is called as coincident point so why it is named as coincident point the same point which is a sliding in slotted bar at the same time which is turning in crank so that is why it is called slotted coincident point so velocity of point of sliding is parallel in slotted bar because sliding bar will be having a parallel velocity and velocity of point is perpendicular in crank because velocity of rotating is perpendicular in the slotted bar so now the same case how will you determine the acceleration so usually the acceleration will be linear for any sliding moment so here the slotted bar in this point will be only having a sliding moment but at the same time if you consider with respect to crank it is a rotating element so how will we approach this one so we'll compare to any other normal linear acceleration this will be having only linear acceleration but the conceptually if you say this is rotating with the another circle at the same time it is sliding in the slotted bar so conceptually one more acceleration should be acting in that that as a another component so now imagine that this point is having a sliding in this in this slotted bar so in this slotted bar the blue dotted point which is called as coincident point is sliding at the same time it is rotating so during rotation it will be having a some centrifugal force acting on us which will be acting perpendicular to the slotted bar like this so this will be acting perpendicular to the slotted bar so this component is called as coriolis component so another one is acting parallel that is normally linear acceleration of the coincident point so this perpendicular component is called as coriolis acceleration acceleration component so we have to identify the coriolis ac acceleration component so we can we know the magnitude of this component based on that we can determine the acceleration so now this is linear acceleration this is coriolis acceleration so magnitude of this coriolis acce acceleration is 2 into v into omega where v is the velocity of the slotted bar velocity linear velocity of the slotted bar whereas omega is the angular velocity of the slotted bar we have to calculate it and determine this magnitude and to determine the direction of the slotted coriolis acceleration we have certain rule so now the rule is that this depends on the position of the rotation of the slotted crank and slotted lever mechanism or any mechanism which is having a both linear and a sliding movement so now imagine that this is the position so now whenever the crank starts rotating anticlockwise at the same time the slotted bar moving up so this is the direction of this coriolis component so like that we can have uh, one point everything will be opposite of this for example this is rotating anticlockwise and moving up then this is the direction of the slotted bar now this is rotating anticlockwise and moving up the direction is reversed just so this is the direction of the coriolis component similarly so whenever this is rotating clockwise and moving down this is the direction of the com acceleration component whenever the crank rotates anticlockwise and direction of the slotted bars moving down this is the direction of the acceleration component so now this is about uh, concept of acceleration in quick return mechanisms so in the subsequent classes we will see the problems on it thank you